Pokimane is one of the most obnoxious personalities ever to gain any kind of following. It doesn't make sense why she's out there. And of course, everybody is dunking on her because she's not getting a contract from this new streaming service called Kick. Kick is offering huge contracts to a lot of people out there. And uh, XQC is one of them. And uh, XQC decided to dunk on Pokimane when Pokimane's going out there, uh, of course, chastising uh, Twitch for not doing more. The Twitch CEO has also gone out there and just been like, look, uh, you know, we're, we're doing what we can given the money we make. And uh, she looks like a complete crybaby idiot, but it's not the first time. So here's the article right now. Uh, XQC says Pokimane ha and Hassan, too, are scared of going broke in explicit rant. So he signed a $100 million two-year streaming deal with Kick. This week, he's been exchanging blows with Pokimane and Hassan, both of which has been very public about their criticism of the Kick platform. Hassan and Pokimane have raised questions about, quote, the morals and ethics of these Kick deals. Naturally, they have, because they didn't get the deals themselves. This is all about them whining. It always is. These two people are just narcissists who have major problems in everything they do. And it goes further than this. <laughs> Dextero on Twitter actually came up with Pokimane right here, <clears throat> showing that, uh, you know, she goes off saying that it's all about because she's female and the poor females in streaming culture just can't even speak up because of the way they've been treated. Woe is me, Pokimane. Woe is me. This is exactly what's going on all the time. I love to see it. Look, they're just not relevant anymore, so they're not getting the deals. It all comes down to money, and it's very funny to watch. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.